All cleared up now, right? No gods, no plague, just a dragon, but it's gone too. We're to pay Emil with your compensation, Slizzard. and that will be that. So, why do you still stand there and wait, men? Back to work, chop chop! And I've a notion suspicious workings are still afoot. What became of the builders <laughs> who were to put the statue together? They were due three days back, yet there's still no sign of them at our day store. They were crushed too, I'm certain of it. Or eaten, or, or locusts got them like in Zerikenia. I mean, these guys are very What's religious. This you spout now? The or lazy. Wrote they would arrive a week late with a large shipment of marble from Metana for the Prophet's beard. So stop flapping your yaps and get to work. Allow me to walk you away, Master. Mm. I don't like the way in which she just said that to me. Truth be told, I lied. But I cannot have them panic again. The workers he mentioned, they've indeed vanished. Come see me later, I shall divulge to you the details. Okay. This could be interesting. But we'll do that later. Because I would like to start upgrading my uh, my villa. I'm really hoping that there is a marker for this place somewhere nearby. I just entered it from a Come weird angle. I'm off to the bells, quick as a flash. Not he for the draft horse will tap down some camp. Hmm. Arrest warrant and call an article at the other day. Philibert von Witten alias Four Fingers. Is there really no marker here? It's kind of annoying. <laughs> I mean, it's not. Stupidly far away, still. Okie dokie. Come, Roach. Magical moving horse. Oh, for God's sakes, Roach. You are as temperamental as my horse. And we go. Spend some money on Corvo Bianco. Looked into a little bit of uh, spending money on Corvo Bianco. And things take time. In game time, of course, but still, it takes like days. So I may as well start shoving money in as quickly as I can. Come and reap the rewards later. Hello, Major Domo. How might I be off surface, sir? Uh, ooh, I can beat you at Gwent in a minute. You went now. Went, BB. Funny you <laughs> should ask, sir. I was quite adept in my younger years, but that was so long ago. I fear I've limited my interest to collecting now. Managed to assemble quite the set of decks. Huh, sounds interesting. Mind showing me what you got? Not at all, sir, but only in action. A round or two, perhaps? Of course. May the best man win. Do you wish to play against any particular faction, sir? Eh, surprise me. Not really. You choose. Do I have anything new here? I really should be playing. 
No. swap you out. That's not a bad card to get. I could really do with a few more of my uh, heroes. Not heroes, sorry. They're uh, spies. So good. I need my heroes, please. My heroes, my spies. About two of them I have yet to get. Okay. I force him to play a couple more cards. I have one. I have two revives. So I'm gonna. Push him to play a few cards, I think. We'll get rid of his 18. But I will pass on this one, because I now have a lot more cards than he does. I can bring back the ones I've got. Let's play Gaunter. Why not? Devastating for everyone. Oh no. <laughs> that was quite fun. Hmm. Let's put Cirilla out. Hmm. I'll throw Gamma out out front. That should be a guaranteed win now. Cool. Oh! Did not realise that was something that they could do. Not a great fan of that. Hmm. Let's throw Sheila back out. Let me smack extra cars. I'm pretty sure I'm okay. Yeah. Uh, 41 to 37, so that's a win for me. I congratulate you on your victory. Shall we continue playing? No, we can do it later. Maybe later. Got something I need to do right this now. This is a uh, can wish, I practice. So? Yes, let's do it. Starting to really like this place. Maybe we should keep going. Refurbish some more. What do you think, BB? As you wish, sir. Shall we see <laughs> to the house or the grounds this time? 
Uh, let's do something on the house. I'm thinking about the outer walls. Maybe a fresh coat of paint or some patching. If I might dare to make a suggestion, why not start with a general renovation? I once oversaw such work at Admiral Rompelli's summer residence. The effects were simply breathtaking. Not only did the residence positively sparkle afterwards, but we also made room to display the Admiral's armor and weapons, of which he was a passionate collector. Yeah. Let's do that. It's in your hands, then. Make the place shine. I shall get to work immediately. Within a day's passing, I shall have sent for the crew which rebuffed the Admiral's residence. They are the finest specialists around. Highly skilled at what they do, it shall not take them too long, I wager. Two days after they begin, your eyes will behold your residence in its refurbished, rejuvenated, beautified state. Good to know. Is there anything, anything else you require, sir? Uh. Starting to get into this whole See renovating if we can thing. There must be other things we can improve. Provided we preserve the grounds Beauclerois stylings, and on condition that you are not considering something like um, digging vast holes in which to store monster carcasses or bury cursed treasure, I am very much in favor, sir. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's get a grindstone. In my trade, my blades get dull pretty quick. Could use a grindstone, professional grade. Of course. No one would consider that an unnecessary extravagance, I would wager. Let's get the grindstone. Then send out for one, please. A high quality stone to be set up in the yard. Of course. I shall send a runner to town at once. I believe you shall be grinding to your heart's content by tomorrow. I mean, that's a Will promise. Will be needing anything else, sir? Grinding to my heart's content. Yeah, let's get the armor. My armor needs table. work from time to time. You know, oil this, reinforce that. Could use a decent work table where I could do all that. Admiral Rompali once hired a specialist who made the finest armorer's tables this side of the Yeruga. I will contact him at once. Hmm. Yes. Good. Order me up a table like that. Immediately, sir. I expect it will take at most one day to arrive. Will you Jesus. Be anything else? These guys are doing Amazon shipping. Uh, anything Feels else on the like house? By investing a bit of coin, I could make the house more functional. I agree. Yet I would urge you to hold off on further construction until the ongoing mm. work is done. Juggling can be a challenging art. It's best not to undertake too much at once. Fair enough. We'll Thanks. leave you to it then. Gotta get back to my business now. See you soon. Out the front door we go. We will see what the house looks like very soon. Two days apparently. Well, three days by the sounds of it. One day for them to get here. Two days to do the work. Is that what he was like? Nah. Either way, we'll do it. Oh, look at all those question marks. I hate them so much. <laughs> Okay, we'll go to Plagman's Bridge. Just need to get the rest of these question marks and whatnot out of the way. All these uh, places out. You know what I'm trying to say. A dangerous, a very giant half Oriol has been seen near the palace at night. I've spoken to several witnesses, but the Ducal Guard remains deaf to my reports. Be on your guard. This may be the beast. Ooh, that's awkward. Don't worry, it won't be there anymore. An invitation from Starling Stragon. Rumours have been circling of late that Starling Stragon commits despicable deeds. This is vile slander, and on behalf of Stragon, we invite all merchants to pay a visit to our hands at the ruins of Arasha Palace. We are sure that we can reach an understanding. A starling Stragon is interested in the in trade in a variety of branches. We await all prospective business partners. That sounds 
quite euphemistic and dodgy. Proven pest killers. Pested by pesky caterpillars devouring your vines. Don't waste coin on magic protection rituals. Famed critter goblin Martins of Karatana of Karata will have your problem solved in a flash. Order now and we'll give you a pair, pair for the price of a mail. Leash, muzzle, anti rabies concoctions provided for free. Please note Martin repellent not included. Well, sounds like another scam. All those who are in the way, who are in any way afflicted with Coronatus Vineyard, are affiliated. Sorry, with Coronatus Vineyard, are dung diddling degenerates, and I have only one thing to say: to them. go about your grandma. <laughs> <laughs> They're inventive, these guys. Leroy's dead. The night known as Sir Leroy has died during a one-man raid against monsters carried out of his own volition and against everyone else's better judgment. He left no family or relation of any sort. He wants to be a hero, may he rest in peace. All those who are interested are hereby informed that a funeral ceremony conducted according to Leviota's rites will be held in three days. And warning, Vermentiano's vineyard workers did all their own mums, and one of them does his da too. They're quite colourful, aren't they? The guard brings peace to our domains, flout its writ and rot in chains. Yeah, whatever, Guardman. So far, your punk seems to guard shit, but that's my view on it. Okay, then. I might start up here soon, actually. I feel like dealing with that Hansa at some point very soon. They seem to be dodgy. I'm not a fan of it. Hey, Mr. Trader. Have you any money I can take? Mind if I glance away? Legally, of course. Eh, not really. So, good I mean, you do have path. you do have money, but I don't really, I don't really want to me mess around right now and try to sell things properly. Once I've got my house built and renovated to the best standards possible. The only other thing I need to do is start making the rest of the Grand Master Witch's gear. I'm just going to leave that one. <laughs> oh, that's what else I needed to do. Because that gives me more money. And I need more money, because this entire place is bloody expensive. like actually trying to live in the real world. Oh, out of the way, guardsman. Hello, people. Casa Raviello Vineyard. And... The final next spot. Need an herbalist? I can cure the sick and uplift the downhearted. Is it love you seek? I can help you find it. Or do you need love buried? That can be arranged. Your heart captors tormenting you. Your heart can be changed. Trouble with neighbours, with enemies. Their prosperity eating you up inside. I'll plague them with bad breath, warts, itches, numbness, whatever you desire. All for a reasonable price. The herbalist of Castel Ravello. Excellent dodgy things. I tell a uh, storyteller. I tell fairy tales. For a modest fee, I'll visit your home and tell a story about anything you request. I know how to amuse children, but I can also spin yarns to entertain adults. Invite me, and you shall see. Listening. That's good. You shall see. Listening to a good story can make your life's hardships easier to bear. Arcadius. That sounds like someone who's going to case your place and try and rob it. I need a hard. I need man. <laughs> okay, this already start, that sounds quite dodgy. <laughs> Who won't sp and a good back in hiding if
it over. Jacob Woodcutter of Fox Hollow. Vermento wine. Easy drinking anytime. Ten vintages, but cannot afford to lose your clarity of mind? Try wine from the Vermento vineyard. You can down a whole cask and, scuff and suffer no hangover the next morning. The secret? And join us in our efforts to promote society among the citizens of Tucson. Beware of monsters. Monsters known as bar guests have been spotted in the cemetery. All vineyard workers are thus advised. groups. It is also recommended they choose routes which bypass the cemetery, failing to adhere to these safety precautions, could lead to serious consequences, including, but not limited to, mental trauma, crippling injury, and being devoured. I mean, fair enough. It is well known the Scallywag of Karata have been underpricing their plonk leading to the bankruptcy of many a small vineyard. Now they've truly gone to gone too botching far. They've brought buckets of vine devouring caterpillars to Vermianto. You'll get your comeuppance, rat diddlers. Fair enough. Everyone can argue. Okay. I want to deal with one of these groups. In fact, we may as well start here. Plegman's Bridge. In the Coronata. For four generations. That is how long my family has been producing wine. Producing Plonk unfit to drink, you mean? Which is exactly why you should sell Belgat to me, not him. <coughs> As a ducal clerk, I must look after the Duchy's best interests. Belgar currently belongs to the Treasury. The Minister of the Treasury has clearly expressed it? his desire that Belgard be handed over to a responsible steward. Yet, Diverse troubles beset both your present holdings. Until you resolve them and thus prove yourselves competent, selling Belgard to either of you is out of the question. Well, happy? This is your fault! Mine? You're deranged, woman! Hark! Good folk! Be it known, Batilda de Vermentino is a cursed, spiteful lunatic! <laughs> Doesn't look cursed to me. Just really, really angry. Ticked her off quite a bit, you have. Truly? How would you know? A shrew tamer, are you? <laughs> Let's just be cocky. Know all about women. Better. A connoisseur. <laughs> <laughs> I see we speak the same tongue. So tell me. The swords, you merely wear them to intimidate? Or do you actually use them? Tools of my trade. I'm a witcher. Not seeking work, are you? Y you see, I wish to buy a vineyard. Belgard. Yet that bloody bureaucrat's not likely to sell it to me until I settle my troubles at home, at Coronata. What kind of troubles we talking okay. about? Ah, uh, it's botched in more ways than one. The herbarium. Infested with monsters. My steward gone missing with an entire transport of wine. And someone's abducted my herbalist. A lot of bad luck hmm. for one little vineyard. If you ask me, it's that Matilda, her handiwork. A sugar sweet face, a temper sharp as horseradish. So will you help? Yeah, I don't work for free, buddy. Good look into it, but not for free. That goes without saying. What is your rate? Oh my god, 700. Nice. Let's see if we can get 860. That sounds fair. Bugger, could have gone higher. I do not understand this negotiating stuff. This game. Sure sounds like work for a witcher. Yeah, I'll help. I am really, truly grateful. Thank you. My vineyard lies east of here. You're sure to find it. Now forgive me. I must talk to that quill pusher. I might win him over yet. 
Is the lady still there? I'd like to talk to her as well. We're talking to her for definite then, based on that. You're a witcher, yes? I heard you talking to that oafish ogre, Liam. Disgusting man. The worst sort. First, seduces with the dashing gaze, the fair face, then reveals a coal black heart. They slept together. But that's all besides the point. I stopped you because I want to buy Belgat too. Alas, things are rotten at my own vineyard, Vermentino. <sighs> Strange coincidence. No coincidence. I am certain Liam's thrown a stick in my box. Several sticks. My Cooper and hmm. blacksmith both have mysteriously vanished. Man-eating oh. plants have sprouted on my paths, and strange things are afoot on Pheasant Hill. Ah, the list goes on, but the crux is one. I must solve my problems at Vermentino if I'm to stand any chance of acquiring Belgard. Would you help me before you help Liam? I'm willing to pay more than he's offered you. <laughs> well, let's deal with this. Uh, let's try. Let's try 9:50. I sense we're close. Very close. Okay. 920-ish. I sense we're close. Very close. That's what she said. Okay. 895. Fine. Settled. Okay. Yeah, I think I can help you. I can help. At least try. Wonderful. You've no idea how much that means to me. My vineyard lies due west. Hmm. I shall stay here for a time. I must make certain Liam does not pull some stunt while my back is turned. Gotcha. Farewell. Okay. Hmm. Wonder if I can do both. I'll have to look into that. But first things first, though. I want to run around up here. Oh God! Look how many question marks. How many are there? Sixty-six undiscovered locations. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I hate question marks so much. Okay. Um. Let's head here. I'm going to kind of run around this part, I think, for now. That Gwent will be the end of me. I've Everyone's talking about Gwent. Everyone's asking how Gwent is. I think someone's name a child, Gwent. That's an unfortunate child if they've named it Gwent. Sons of Tur Valley? Hey, look, weird looking creatures. Save the game. Keep a bit of distance. Oh, bugger. Just keep rolling. Never stop rolling. Low on health. Very low on health. Oh, 
I'm stuck in a bush. I'm stuck in a bush. Leave. Hopefully that's that dealt with. Fuck a spoiler sprout again. Should destroy the area if I want to get rid of them for good. Okay, okay. Oof, those are nasty things to kill. Weird looking creatures, it's not a nice way to talk about you viewers <laughs> like. <laughs> oh, you know, I've seen you on video, Spoon. <laughs> Hello. I thank you for the rescue. You're one fine fellow, Witcher. This guy just comes running up to you. Everything about that is creepy. Okay. <laughs> Let's head up kind of like the waterline here, I think. Exploration stream for the win. Woo! Gotta get the exploring done before I'm allowed to carry on with the main game. That's one of my rules. The rule of completing everything. <laughs> For me. <laughs> yeah, we're still recording, aren't we? Yeah, cool. Hidden treasure. Not that well hidden. The boat line on top of it. No one think of like just checking out these places you know, when when they go down or anything. Dive! Die! Here's a new hole for your head. You don't need to do like the whole spinny thing, get out. Let's read the captain's log underwater. Journal is completely soaked, only a few entries can be deciphered. Bellhaven, 23rd day of service. Nothing irritates me more than land rats thinking they're cock of the walk. Yet Count Jean, Jol Bellier, that's what the impertinent prick made me call him. <laughs> Managed to assuage my irritation, a dab, by clinking a hefty pouch of Nilfgaardian florins on the table. His entourage loaded the ship with bundles, then hauled on his huge cage covered with a sail. Count Balagard explained it's held one of those famed Zanguibarian striped horses, a gift for Duchess Henrietta. It didn't contain one of those striped horses, or a zebra as we know it. Bellhaven to Beauclair, route 24th day of service. We've had nothing but trouble with the Zanguibarian horse. It gnaws on the deck like a beast gone mad. Plus, we've got to make sure the trap, the tarp covering its cage is tightly fastened. It seems this creature is as sensitive to the sun's rays as a vampire, in which case, what good's it to the Duchess? A striped horse, she can only ride it at night. There's no comprehending these aristocrats, because it's not a bloody horse. The zebra. <laughs> They're equids, but different. Sorry. A thousand thundering sea devils, that was no horse in that cage. You surprised me. But a god's blasted Shalemar. Overgrown rock rat chewed through the deck, capsized the ship, and burrowed into the river bottom. Then that idiot, Count Balagar, fell to his knees and begged me to help catch the monster. He handed me the key to a chest of jewels he kept close, watch on the whole trip, and swore it would be mine if we recaptured that monstrosity. 
I'd most like to grab a fit club, smack him upside the head, take that chest right now, but I'm not some plowing pirate. I'll grab the lads who managed to survive the wreck and we'll try to catch the monster in our nets. We can't claim to know some trickery to use. Sneak up on the beast. No, he didn't. It did not go well. I can tell already. Okay. Now, let's get out of here before Geralt drowns. There we go. Getting caught in the rigging now. Uh, Zequists. Um, find the treasure chest. Did I not find the treasure chest? Sure, I found the treasure chest. Oh, underground in the water, kind of underground. There we go. Well, this is going to go so well. Hi, Mr. Shalemar. Let's see. Oh, that didn't go so well. Right now, I'm not liking the fact that it can float. Okay, let's move. Drink, 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 drink! Damn it! <clears throat> I'm not a fan of when it can do that. Okay, that was all completely fucked <laughs> from the start. <laughs> Seems to... It kind of like created its own... War uh, I'm glad I saved. I knew something was going to go wrong. Okay. There you go. That's how you kill it. Quicker than it can ever do anything. Hmm. That guy doesn't look so good. None of these guys look so good. I don't think they fared well against the Shalimar. Hmm. There we go. Damaged journal. Journal kept chaotically, dates missing, ink blots found. 
What on earth got into me humming one of Master Dandelion's ballads in front of her illustrious grace uh, to fall into disfavour in such a foolish way? I, a young ambitious politician with brilliant career prospects at the Ducal Court, now find myself exiled due to my own stupidity. I must find a way to plead the Duchess of Forgiveness. They say the Emperor has offered a Duquesa a very strange gift, a Shalimar. The Knights are to face off against it during the tourney. Now, were I to make a similar offering to her illustrious grace? Inconceivable. The gods have smiled on me. I ran into a witcher in Belhaven willing to help me catch a young Shalimar. Naturally, he demanded a fortune for his services, but I'm ready to do anything to get myself out of the Duchess's black books. The witcher collected a down payment and set off for the Amal Mountains. I've got it. Success. With an offering for her grace worthy of an emperor, I can at last return to the duchy and seek forgiveness. Now I need only find a way to transport the Shalimar to Beauclair. I gathered my entire retinue and together we embarked on the good ship Suzanne. With the current in our favour, we should be in the capital in mere three days. I feel like the hero of some elven tragedy. Just when it seems all is going perfectly, catastrophe falls from the sky and pummel me to the ground. The Shalimar chewed through the deck, sank the ship, and dug its way into the river bottom. I begged the captain to help me capture the monster in exchange for the rest of my fortune. As the Witcher instructed, I will light incense made of rue and direct the, mo the smoke at the monster, which should calm it. The sailors can then capture it in their nets. I am finished. The rue incense did not work. The Shalimar flew into a rage and killed nearly everyone. Surely the captain managed to escape. I could see he was badly wounded, so I doubt he managed to swim out of the cavern. Now I sit here alone, listening to Shalimar devour the remains of the murdered sailors. You, the person who has found my journal, whoever you may be, take the rest of my fortune. For what good is a chest of jewels to a pile of mouldy bones? But in exchange, please drink to my health, to my sad fate, and to the hero of a true elven tragedy. Oh. That guy was a dumbass. I mean, for one, yeah. Coming a tune from Dandelion in front of Dandelion's um, bunny boiler is probably the best way I can put it. Not a smart move. I really wish they would stop doing things like trying to bring Shayla Mars into uh, the place. They're dangerous creatures. So far, they just slaughter all of you. 